But in the case of this particular locomotive, it was used in switching service at the Holston Army Ammunition Plant in Kingsport, Tennessee. We acquired it a number of decades ago as Army Surplus for, believe it or not, only $250. Oh, wow. I could have bought a train, Teresa. <laughs> to uh, swing around everyone just a reminder that uh, we do need everyone to stay behind that yellow line on the ground for your safety so here watch us fix and start turning watch here it comes if you look up in the cab here you'll see our engineer jim he's responsible for operating this locomotive and getting us here safely today so everyone oh. go ahead and give him a wave Look, here he comes, Deacon, wave at him. Look up there, see the engine now, here? Yeah, commonly referred to as a uh, diesel locomotive. The correct term for this engine is actually a diesel electric. Meaning inside this engine, there is a large diesel motor turning a generator. That generator produces electricity, and that electricity is fed down to the traction motor what? that's on each axle of this locomotive. And it's those traction motors that actually propel the locomotive, hence the term diesel electric. Now, diesel locomotives have always been made that way, Look, and that's the way they're still made today. Whether it's like Home Southern, CSX, or Union Pacific, those are all diesel electric. Wait at the train! The major difference between right. the early diesel locomotives and the ones being produced today is that the uh, modern locomotives today do have computer systems in them, as well as produce much more power and are much more fuel efficient. Now, of course, some of you may be wondering where the steam locomotive is. We do currently have two operational steam locomotives, but they are only operated seasonally on the weekends, March through November. So we'll start actually start operating steam on this trip here starting in about two weeks. Now when it comes to lining this table up to the correct track today, we still have to use the original method. And that would be the antique method of eyesight. Thank you. 